So this is Sylvia Garrizales with TejanoNation.net, and we are here talking with Mr. Gary Hobbs, um, Tejano music, I could say legend, a veteran, icon. Um, You're too nice. <laughs> you know, every um, people know you and they and they love you. They love your music. And obviously the industry does as well. You know, I you were nominated for a Latin Grammy this past year, right? And so yes. um, and you're now with Freddie Records. Um, you've been with them for how long? Um, I want to say almost going on two years in 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 about April or May. So we're doing good. Good. And how has that been for you? Because before that, weren't you on your own record label? Or well, I, I had been on major record labels, so I kind of knew yeah. the the ins and outs and things that you know. Mm -hmm. Out of forty years, I've been a recording contract since day one, and so I was at Hacienda Records and. I went, uh, they subleased to RC International, CBS International. Mm -hmm. Then I was on a private uh, SG International with the late Luis Silva. He was a uh, songwriter, Hall of Fame songwriter out of San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And then I went to uh, Capitol Records and I went to EMI and I was at Sony Discos. But then my son and I, we were independent for almost almost 20 years at Amex Records, A-M-M-X. Americano Mexicano, American Mexican. And uh nice. and yes, uh this April or May, something like that. It's two years with, with Freddie Records. But uh it was uh just getting back into into a, a, a discipline of having to keep recording and being a little bit more consistent than when you're independent and mm -hmm. you, you call all the shots. Yeah, you're in so charge. <laughs> and, and and we're able to do that here in Eagle Pass. Uh I had recorded here since 1993 till up to uh, a year and a half ago when we wow. recorded uh when we recorded in in Corpus Christi right the Legend okay. Sound Studios and uh but it it is uh phenomenal going to someone like Freddie Records with all the resources and and by that I mean the the not just the equipment the studio but but their engineers and 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 people that work in their at at the label it's been uh it's quite it's been quite interesting and, and exciting at the same time. Great. And obviously you're doing well because like I mentioned earlier, you were nominated for a Latin Grammy. And was that for your first album with Freddie Records or uh... Yeah, can you can you believe that? It sounds kind of biblical. Forty <laughs> years, forty years in the desert coming out and and then I get nominated <laughs> for a Latin Grammy nomination. And uh now, congratulations, by win, the way. <laughs> but we didn't win, of course, but kudos and congratulations, Juan Trevino. But mm -hmm. uh, but it was pretty exciting. Uh, again, I, we had never been nominated, and uh, I, I felt Sylvia. I felt a lot uh, proud. Uh, I felt proud and so good, really, for mm -hmm. for everybody else uh, from mm -hmm. from the label. Of course, they've had Latin Grammy winners there at Freddie Records, but mm -hmm. uh, our producer Hector Gutierrez and uh, our tracking with Eli Molina, Mariano Herrera, Roberto Serna. And of course, all the group, uh, the usual suspects, and my compadre Jaime Samo produced, uh, co-produced the vocals for us, and and, and all the guys, Romero Castillo, Gabriel Gil, Roger Salinas, and we had Jay Alanis help us on that CD on the guitars, but mm -hmm. um, and Chente Barrera tracked a song, I think, with us. but uh, but we're so grateful to everybody that participated with Sinfin, and and uh, I, I I like to say that I, I'm not one of those persons that goes and says that. I think it's the best thing I've ever done. Of course not. Uh, uh, I'm I'm my worst critic, but I I really thought it was, I, I really thought it was solid. And when mm -hmm. I wanna when I say solid, see that that means to me it like those first seven eight songs just, you know, my priority is to make people dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if it's moving and it's grooving, tejano and whether it's a tejano ranchera or a cumbia, mm -hmm. I, I thought it was solid. Those those seven eight songs and. I still, that CD still has a lot of legs on it. And mm -hmm. as we speak, we just released uh, Llegaste a Mi Corazon. It's the fourth mm -hmm. single. I'm, I'm in the process of uh, trying to finish the video, but I've been getting so much weight. and you know, <laughs> Oh my but, gosh, please. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been fun to be at Freddie Ridge. That's great. And I mean, your style is, it's always been from like, of course, your biggest hits like Las, Las Miradas and everything. You have kind of a smooth, just like a smooth, I mean, your voice is beautiful, obviously. And I don't you. know, probably if you coughed, it would sound nice, you know. I don't know. No. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't agree with you, but thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, it's just um I 
you know, your music is just beautiful. That's the best way I can use to describe it. And like I uh, told you, I was just listening to the, to the album. Um, and it just, it's, it's your style. Do you think you've changed any um, on this album? Uh, or? No, I, I, I'll tell you, uh, uh, in the past two CDs, or mm -hmm. albums, if you want to call them that. Mm -hmm. But but I, I've written a good 12, 13 songs. Mm -hmm. And I I hadn't really written stuff in, in a long time. Mm -hmm. But I, I have written and recorded a good 70 songs but of mine. But I've also recorded 31 or 32 albums in my career. Wow. And so that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of music. But yep. uh but I I, I want to say that um uh, you know, to me, to me, recording Tejano on the last two CDs, making it, uh, you know, I, I I wanted to be more original, but mm -hmm. I, I I approached Hector Gutierrez, and the, the the great thing about Hector, we've been friends since '83, and he mm -hmm. did perform with us, you know, on and off throughout the mm -hmm. years. So Hector knows me inside and out, and mm -hmm. but he knows when I write something or I have an idea. He's out of Robstown, Texas, and he'll come to Eagle Pass and he'll stay a day or two with me and. We start, you know, throwing the ideas. And mm -hmm. what I love about Hector is that he always uh, he kind of morphs. He morphs mm -hmm. into, you know, being with Gary Hobbs. And so mm -hmm. uh, you study other people, so again, you, you, mm -hmm. you know, I was a, a really little true story that uh, before that song, uh, the English song, uh, uh, um, oh, my God, Bruno Mars, uh, before that, uh, oh, 20, 24 karat magic. No, the one before um, that. <laughs> um, locked out of heaven. The one no, that sounds after that. <laughs> uh, what is that? Oh, uh, you're gonna make me Google it now, Bruno Mars. Um, is it a is it a fast song or is it a? Uh, it's a fast it... song. Uh, don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Oh yeah, watch. Don't believe me, yeah. just watch. Yeah, what is that song? Yeah, I know, I know the song you're talking about though, because we well, that. well, when I when I heard him. Uh, I saw the video to that. I mm. had heard, I had heard of Bruno Mars, and yes. but I had never studied him. And I had, I had kind of listened to a song or two. But uh, with that song, the first thing that came to my mind was that it, it was very new, very uh, like new sounds, sound, but mm -hmm. it sounded very retro, you know. Mm. And, and yes, he does have that. And so, and and so that kind of like. That kind of like opened an idea where I I I told Hector I don't know how we're gonna make it sound Gary Hobbish, you know, <laughs> but but we're gonna we're gonna need to make it sound new, if that's mm -hmm. possible because we're recording everything under 102 beats, 103 beats. Oh wow! I made it on Tejano Rancheras, most everything, and how do you make it sound you know new without sounding redundant? It's always there's a lot of people that don't really study or listen to the kind of music they go oh there's that mm, chan, 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 chan. <laughs> but we're we're keyboard orientated and sometimes oh, yeah. i think that sometimes i think that with today's music they think that's a bad thing and uh, but we're we've been keyboard orientated yeah. since day one since 1983 and yeah. uh and i thought with this cd you know hector did a great job of listening to things that i needed and that i wanted mm -hmm. and he does his thing he he elevates things. He starts, mm -hmm. you know, producing and he starts putting in fiddles and then starts doing arrangements and then he produces. Wow. But, but I thought, uh, I thought it was so important on this one. And I thought we, uh, again, I thought it was pretty solid for us. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, I always worry about the next one while I'm recording the, what, what whatever we're recording now. I'm You're worried already thinking about, ahead. Well, yeah, you got to think ahead. And so, yeah. I'm back to square one where I'm I'm at a writer's block right now. I'm, my mind is just like, you know, but I uh, think how are you? Is it because you want to top what you did and you feel that's a challenge or because it was so good and it kind of is intimidating? No. Or? Well, I, I think uh, I never say it's good because mm -hmm. because it to me, the everything else that the, the rest of the guys did, I thought it was great, to be honest, mm -hmm. but I'm my worst critic. And so I. And then when I write stuff, you know, I, I don't know if people are going to hook into it or not. And, mm -hmm. but, uh, and then with like, it was a little bit different sound on the last two CDs. We've been trying to experiment a little bit when we go to the chorus, you know, and mm -hmm. we go a little bit very light reggaeton on it. And it's the in thing. It's freestyling. It's people love that. But I mean, 
We've been playing cumbia since 1983, and cumbias have changed. And yeah, what some... you've been doing has worked too, so you don't want to stray well, too sound, far. I mean, cumbias can sound tropical. They can sound, you know, mm -hmm. border border mm -hmm. town kind of style, north northern Mexico, and yeah. and then you know it's been uh, that reggaeton sound has been implemented in cumbia. So, but we we kind of ventured on the last two CDs on that, and especially on this one. So I wrote Quedaria and and. To me, it was kind of new and at the same time, kind of us, kind of Gary Hobbish. But uh, <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing Quedaria. And, and and you can hear that on the on the new single, too, Llegaste a Mi Corazón, song written by Freddie Martinez Sr., Don Freddie. Oh, and wow. uh, and so we ventured out on that one, too, with new sounds and stuff and vocals. And uh, again, uh, Eli Molina and Mariano Herrera is just phenomenal. They're pretty records. But uh, so it was, it was really a, a total, total team effort Sylvia on that mm -hmm. CD scene theme and I'm just thankful and proud uh, of what everybody did. Great. You seem to I mean you're still going strong. You're did you have to get um now that you're touring again? I mean, was that hard to get back into doing or um uh know? well well we we've never stopped working. Uh, mm -hmm. this is my 40th year and we've year, wow. been nonstop uh, non-stop with the exception of maybe COVID for about a, a month and a half. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and we, we were still doing, I, I, during COVID, a mm -hmm. lot of, a lot of other States were locked down and, and, and mm -hmm. the governor opened it up and we, we had weddings where I, I did a wedding here in Eagle Pass, Texas, right out of, outside of town mm -hmm. at a ranch. And there must've been 15 people. And we did a, a condensed acoustic oh, show, pre-recorded, oh, wow. live over pre-recorded. And, and it was just it was just three of us and mm -hmm. us playing keys and singing and and um compadre Jaime Salvo and Johnny D, Johnny Davila. And it was just uh 15 people. And uh yeah. the funny part about it, I, I'm so grateful that they hired us for that wedding, but uh but it, it was COVID and so yeah. We had masks on and then we took them mm -hmm. off while we were performing. And mm -hmm. then it, it's only it's only 10, 12 people that I remember. And then they went inside. And <laughs> and the three of us are like outside in the patio. And <laughs> and I just I I hadn't had that feeling in the I mean I've had dances where there's few people, like a hundred, hundred and fifty, whatever, but, <laughs> but 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 to have nobody there in front, it was wow. a shock to me. It was uh -huh. it, it was a shock to my ego, to my yeah, that's <laughs> But, but it, it was it because felt, of the circumstances of surrounding. Yeah, but it felt it felt so weird. It felt so mm -hmm. weird. But again, we've been we've been working nonstop. Mm -hmm. uh, we do about a hundred days a year, and when mm -hmm. I tell people that they they kind of don't don't, don't I, I guess they don't grasp it. But if they just look at our social medias, all of it, it's mm -hmm. you know we pretty much uh, promote everything except for private events. We do a lot of mm -hmm. private events, but. But in the in the nineties, Sylvia, like mm -hmm. 94, 95, 96, we were doing two hundred plus dates a year, and oh, and believe me, other bands, David Lee and Emilio and and uh, Ma Selena, the, these bands were just like kicking, and they were everywhere. But we were doing two hundred plus dates, and so we never stopped touring. We, mm -hmm. I guess that word is a little bit. Uh, I don't know what what word I could use to describe that, but for us Tejanos, we will work anything Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> um, in fact, in my career, I think I've done a couple of Mondays, like after Monday night football. Oh, I really? Don't think I've ever worked on a Tuesday. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's I, your I, off I day. Some, some Wednesdays, some concerts, mm -hmm. and but I, I don't think I think Tuesdays are days off. <laughs> days yeah. off. So. And I think we as fans don't realize how much effort and work that you all put into it you know we care when you come to our city you know that's what we care about we don't think about what you're doing all the other uh days and weekends that we don't see you but um yeah touring sounds like it, it sounds like it's for for the tough you know <laughs> for a strong strong yeah people. <laughs> well i think i think the touring the uh, people think live performance or but there's so much other like promotions and mm -hmm. and, and and podcasts and you know, mm -hmm. but uh, interviews, uh, and then my wife and I, we we not only host, but we produce uh, Tejano Cruises. You know, uh, yes, a you just did one, right? Lines. Yes, we just did one. We we had about five hundred and close to five hundred and thirty guests, 
Wow. But but when you look at the bands, the artists, David Ligarza, the musicales, Stephanie Montiel, Gary Hobbs, wow. when you look at our bands and you look at our staff that's on board, mm -hmm. we hit close to 590 people, all of wow. them Tejano lovers, and it was it was great. It was on a Harmony of the Seas cruise ship, but wow. uh, it went wow. really nice. So big shout out to all our Tejano cruisers. Yeah. And then I heard you have a, you know more coming up, or you plan to do more of the cruises, so that's neat. Um, yeah, I've never been on a cruise, so but that sounds like it would be a neat experience um, at the Hano cruise. So. Well, my wife and I were 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 just scared to go the very first cruise that they uh, cruise that they invited uh, us to perform, mm -hmm. and uh, and my wife and I just became cruisers. We just came really love <laughs> love cruising. It's just uh, how neat. I, I ended up, you know, uh, uh, my wife told me a little joke before we left on the very first one. She goes, "You know, I don't know how to swim, Dad." <laughs> And I go, Reina, I know how to swim, but we're like a thousand two hundred miles from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what the actual mileage is, but I was trying to make yeah. a point that that you're out there, but uh, mm -hmm. it's it's very safe. It's very safe, mm -hmm. and and some people kind of fear the seasick. And I think in yeah. in ten eleven cruises that I've been on, maybe once, see that once I kind of mm -hmm. felt. At at a dinner for about twenty seconds, I, I felt it once mm -hmm. on one of those cruises, but I. I've never felt seasick on at all. I was going to say, because I'm not a water person and I can't swim either. So that's the only thing that would kind of keep me, you know, but like you said, it, you know, you're safe because you're, it's not like you're going to fall out of the boat or anything, you know, you're, well, you are safe. It, some, some people are scared of flying and, mm -hmm. and, and I ended up being one of those persons, but I, I haven't flown very much. I, mm -hmm. I still count them 63 flights <laughs> I wow. count them because. So I don't I don't fly very often, but when I yeah. do, it's just and I think the last three or four flights, I just like not now I just like sleep through it, right? So, yeah. but uh, some people yeah. some people don't like to go into the waters. It's nothing as I mm -hmm. think as what they think that they're going to be seasick or mm -hmm. I think they imagine themselves on a boat back in the 1600s where you know they're <laughs> paddling it's, or it's, something. <laughs> it's it's nothing like that at all. <laughs> It's probably really luxurious and relaxing. So that's it good is, to know. It is. That's awesome. And so what um you mentioned you were thinking already ahead to your next uh production, your next um album. What can you what can you tell us about that? Or can you tell us anything yet? Um uh, I have I have never I have never really um uh, what's the word pondered too much. Mm -hmm. I, I actually do the worrying while I'm recording something and I'm thinking mm -hmm. of the next one. Mm -hmm. But then I'll get into so busy into the other things that we do mm -hmm. and 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 uh, that now I think with so much change in the industry, not just Tejano, um, but especially what's happening in, in the regional Mexican, you know, arena and what's happening in the Grupero stuff and, and all these collaborations, you know, I it's like obviously I can't go score, you know, a, it'd be hard for me to score a collaboration with, I don't know who, I mean, I'm just, you know, mm. with Carol G, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but it, it, it'd be hard for me to score that. But, mm -hmm. but when you look at what Frontera did and people ask mm -hmm. me all the time, if, you know, what do I think about Frontera? And I go, well, I, I can tell you to, to me that they have great music. Mm -hmm. And somebody, somebody asked me, well, but you, do you think they're Tejano? And I go, well, they're not Tejano music oriented like like with keyboards, us. Yeah. But but that's like saying, you know, is Ramon Ayala uh, Tejano because Tejanos love him. And mm -hmm. he does happen to live in Texas. So yeah. Ramon Ayala, if he's mm -hmm. living in the valley, is he Tejano? Well, no, exactly. it was it was it was about music. And so yeah. when uh when I started in the industry, they were calling it already Tejano music, but but I would hear a, a band play, and if they had the mm -hmm. horns, you know, the horn mm -hmm. section, I wouldn't say that's not Tejano, that's that's mm -hmm. Chicano, or that's <laughs> Tex-Mex, or mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's great music, you know. So, yeah. so what Frontera's been doing, and all these younger bands, mm -hmm. I think I think it's great music. Now, would I venture into something? I I don't think I I would ever discard recording a song, maybe in that style. But, mm -hmm. but I am I am who I am and I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm very comfortable in being who who we are yeah. and our music and and the question is is your music still gonna get played 20, 30, mm -hmm. 40 years afterwards like what's happened to us? We're we're just blessed. It's God's grace. Mm -hmm. And 
We've had some songs that are still being played today. And to be quite honest, at, at the performances, if, if I don't play a good 10, 12 of those songs, they, somebody's going to let me know. Hey, yes. no tocaste la like, maldito amor. You know, no tocaste, oh, I love I'm that one. Yeah. Song, you know? I'd be and mad so, too. <laughs> and, and you don't want to disappoint them. Yeah. You know, you don't because sometimes I feel like you're only as good as your last gig. And if, and if that last gig you forgot to play this or that song, mm -hmm. there's there may be a couple or two there that said, e, no toco. you know, he didn't play that song or you know, but uh yeah, because you want to so, play your new music, but then you know, we want to hear what your you know hits and what you're known for as well. So yeah, that must be hard for you to it is it, it is it but but you know what, like like someone like me, like like when I started hearing music, I was I mean, I was raised here in the border, Eagle Pass, Texas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is it's uh, our sister city, nuestra este, ciudad hermana, Tierra Negra, Coahuila. I mean, we're just there, <laughs> so right so mm -hmm. it's it's the best of both worlds in English and Spanish growing up, mm -hmm. and so I I was listening to a, a, a wide variety of music, right? Mm -hmm. But 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 uh, I did start hearing music by like Chicago and Earth Wind and Fire mm -hmm. and. And, and so I, I was very big on the horns, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so to, to me, to me, implementing all that new music together and trying to venture out on stuff or going back to the frontera things, I mm -hmm. I don't think I would mind recording something like that if if, if the song was something that I know I could feel yeah. and, and and it would come across. But uh, look into that the would new, be neat for us to hear. <laughs> well, look into the new music. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but looking into the new music to me is going to be, I think, more challenging than ever, than ever, more challenging, because do we do we want to do we want to keep doing the kind of music? Of course, you know, but mm -hmm. but look at cumbias, look at ballads. They, mm -hmm. you know, it, it changes music. Mm -hmm. Music has to change. I was trying to refer that when when I was listening to Earth, Wind and Fire in Chicago, for, mm -hmm. for an example, the, the Temptations and you mm -hmm. go to the concert and and they don't sing my girl oh my you're going to be disappointed yeah and and then i want them to sing it the way i heard it on the record i don't want Made him living i don't want him doing something new to it you know <laughs> my girl my girl my girl that's not that's you don't want the experimentation girl. yeah well and it's the same thing with us so yeah. if we record something we are mm -hmm. 99% of the time going to play it the way we recorded it right mm -hmm. but to venture out on something new it, it'd be It'd be challenging, and I think mm -hmm. will it be? Would it be fun? I think that's because if it's not fun for me, then then I'm I'm spinning my wheels, and yes, and yeah. and at my age, I, I ain't got no time to be losing, like you know. But <laughs> uh, but uh, it it's gonna be challenging to do the new mm -hmm. CD. But uh, I, I'll be completely honest. I'm I'm like at a writer's block right now, and really? I started a few melodies, and but we'll mm -hmm. see. It's the last one. We were in the studio and. There was a good three or four of the songs that I had written and I hadn't finished. But once mm -hmm. we were there, everything was on the fly. And mm -hmm. so everything came out well, gracias a Dios. And mm -hmm. I'm hoping that pops up again as soon as we get back into the studio. Well, I think that's neat that you're open-minded enough to uh, even be, you know, noticing these um, younger, newer groups. And, uh, you know, some people just don't even want to pay attention to it or don't even bother to listen or, you know, keep up with it. So I think that's really neat that you, you know, are interested in that and, and what they're doing, you know, like groups like, you know, Frontera and, and people like that. So I, I think they're very good. I really do. And, and just even if you don't look at their accomplishments, I mean, mm -hmm. one thing is, you, I mean, they grab your attention when, mm -hmm. when, uh, when they collaborate, like they mm -hmm. have with different people and especially mm -hmm. like Bad Bunny that just broke open. Mm -hmm. And, and, and then they're at, uh, they're uh, they're on somebody's late night show and then Good Morning mm -hmm. America and yeah. But I'll, I'll I'll tell you you know, I'll tell you that I was I was uh, I guess I was having lunch or something with somebody and mm -hmm. and my son Gary Lee sends me a text and 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 it said one of the biggest stars in the world just recorded a cumbia, and mm -hmm. and he put and nothing but keyboards and with a guitar because nowadays they they're not using keyboards. And they're using bajo sexto, really not electric guitars. Mm -hmm. And so I opened up, and it was Carol G. Wow. And it was the it was that video to Mi, Mi ex tenia razón. And again, mm -hmm. I I knew the name Carol G, mm -hmm. but I don't yes. study her. So yeah. 
until I was seeing halfway the video, I saw that she had a Selena t-shirt and it was mm -hmm. more like a tribute. Yes. A tribute mm -hmm. to Selena, but but Carol G like nailed it. And if that mm -hmm. didn't open eyes to some of our young female singers that mm -hmm. you know that it has a keyboard. Now they took mm -hmm. even that the, that sound of the, the those dinos used to use a, a roll yes. and synthesizer. I was gonna say Selena was all keyboards, right? You know, no yes. accordion. <laughs> no accordion. And and she was uh at one time, with all due respect. I thought she was Queen and King of Tejano, and oh, wow. but she was That's really a just a, an international star. She was a mega star, but she was, uh, she was something else. Yeah, yes, she was. But see, but but what Carol G did, she I mean, she can really sing, and mm -hmm. she. But I thought she nailed it, and I thought it was refreshing. Although it reminds me of Selena because of the rolling sound and the you know yeah. that that keyboard sound, mm -hmm. but just to have the guitar. And, you know, a lot of people gravitate to the Bajo Sexto today, which mm -hmm. which I think is great. It's just that something that, you know, you're not going to you're not going to put Gary Hobbs to record banda music, <laughs> even though even though how good that banda music is. You know, so we I, won't hear I, a banda album from you coming out or in order to <laughs> not a not a banda. But I'll tell you yeah. what, Mike, if, uh, when you start listening to a lot of those singers that that sing banda, some of those, some of those songs and some of those melodies, they're they're just great. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got great music. I mean, the style of music is certainly some something totally different. I mean, mm -hmm. we go and and then you go, you know. But the music, the lyrics, the the melodies, mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're gorgeous songs. And uh, mm -hmm. but we've been doing that since the eighties, Silvia. We we used to hear yeah. something, you know, from from Mexico, and mm -hmm. we, you know, a ballad, a romantic song, mm -hmm. which is what we do, puro love, yes. puro love. Yes, <laughs> you're known for that. But, <laughs> but we, but we would convert it into Tejano Ranchera, even mm -hmm. if it was a, a balada, you know, love song. Mm -hmm. So it's just different, different, a different era, different, you know, mm -hmm. uh, actually we, a different century now. Yeah. Can I ask you, who do you, or what do you think of uh, what's going on in Tejano, or who do you? see as an up and coming uh or someone who's up and coming maybe or has a unique style in, in our you know genre um i know you mentioned some of the international the big you know players but i have i have i have too many people in the industry that i have not really uh i have not really met and when mm -hmm. i meet them i don't socialize i'm i'm kind of like that <laughs> for, for for decades and when i'm somewhere at an award or something i pretty much go in and out and but but when i see all you know social media yeah. i'm a nocturnal person because i i go to sleep at five six six thirty in the morning every day for 40 years and so wow. i wake up at one two or or whatever and uh but yeah. but when you see social media today there are so many new young singers mm -hmm. in tejano and and they i just see the 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 potential the mm -hmm. sometimes i'll even say to myself man if i was managing that person i would i would chip at this and chip at that and mm -hmm. and and i think it's it's you know but i i would hate to say names because yeah. because i i don't want to discard but i mean a lot of a lot of these young and i see a lot more uh female singers mm -hmm. the, than than actually male Mm -hmm. uh, singers and then i i don't see anybody i don't see a new band uh with just doing mainly keyboards mm -hmm. uh, a young band that are dedicating full time there there mm -hmm. are some bands and i think that uh that's that's missing like like when is the next uh, just in my in my uh, in the 80s late 80s mm -hmm. and i mean mid 80s late 80s into the 90s mm -hmm. where where are the uh where are the new La Fiebres and La Sombras oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know and the new La Mafia and mm -hmm. stuff like that and and yeah, so I I do say something that I think it could be misconstrued but I think today I think some artists are so so uh, so skilled and they have mm -hmm. so much talent that I think they 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 may not be well grounded because the, I think that when they start to think of individualism instead of a team, mm -hmm. whether that's a team of management or a team of 
musicians around you. Yeah. Yeah. But individualism, it seems like everybody wants to be their own man, their own woman, their own CEO. What mm -hmm. is it with everybody putting CEO of, you're not even an artist yet. Yeah. <laughs> you're not even, you haven't sold a hundred records yet. I mean, it's, it's nice to, it's nice to take care of business because if you don't take care of business, you're gone. You're, mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're gone. I mean, mm -hmm. you've got to concentrate on, on, on your skill and music. And, and then the other thing is that I think that some of these young singers, they, they are so talented. Mm -hmm. They can, they can, sing a country song and they pull it off and then they sing a norteño song and mm -hmm. they pull it off and then they sing uh, an r&b song they pull it off so they versatile do, they, know, they pull it off but but you're singing in a night you're singing all genres mm -hmm. and i don't think you're making headroom if you're gonna go norteño or, or regional mm -hmm. then then do that yeah. you know and 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 stick to something because see si, si a todo le tiras y nada le pegas but there's, <laughs> that's just not a saying, it's un dicho, but, but it's very mm -hmm. true. I mean, you, you want to be a mechanic or you want to be an electrician? Well, it's, it's in around the same construction thing, but, mm -hmm. but to be a full, a, a singer, I mean, you, you have to make time and you have to have a good, you know, team around you. That word team, mm -hmm. it, it, it just, you have to have a team around mm -hmm. you, but, uh, Oh my God! I got off the subject. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying listening to you. It's interesting because you know you have all the experience, and so um, you know what works and and what doesn't. So well, what's worked for Gary Hobbs? It's 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 always been a you know, uh, I I tell the new when they come to this band, and I've heard it so many times, so many times. Oh man, I wouldn't want to play for Gary Hobbs. Now. He's just Man, it's just discipline. It's it's no fun. If I'm not gonna have fun, well, sometimes to have fun and make actual money from mm -hmm. music is is hard. Just like anything else. I mean, any job, any job. Yeah. If you don't dedicate to it, it, it's gonna be hard, right? But but they'll Work say hard, something like that. Mm -hmm. That oh, you go to your house and nothing but discipline. And when I used to see bands uh, earlier in my career, I used mm -hmm. to look at them and I used to, I mean it. If they had all the lights and 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 they have hits, well, it's hard to duplicate that. But mm -hmm. what I can, but what I can get better is that they got there thirty minutes late, you know, oh, and man. then or they sounded a little bit off. And so to me, getting to a performance, if there's a chance to do a sound check, I'm, I I could be there all day. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, the big boys, the big boys. Like mm -hmm. La Mafia and Michael Salgado and people like that, mm -hmm. they, they're at sound checks all day long. Mm -hmm. And today, sometimes musicians just want to get there, plug and play, and get out and go home or go wherever. And yeah. and I I think uh, I think a lot of the young uh, bands or the young artists need to need to pay attention to all of that and and take care of it because nobody's going to take care of you except you yourself. You know, so show more professionalism. Basically, well, or... yes, and, and and I'm sorry to say it, but I think they're they're after the likes and they're after mm -hmm. the the views on TikTok, and yeah. I think all of that uh, does work, and mm -hmm. especially for someone younger, right? <laughs> like I'm not gonna be bouncing around like like <laughs> you're not gonna uh, do dances on TikTok, no. <laughs> I, I I I don't I don't even do, but but I, 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 think I was gonna it, ask I you. Think it's, I think it's very necessary very necessary to do social media and yeah. and all of the above but but you have to take care of it too you know and and but uh i've had that conversation with with a young artist or two and and i hope someday they they realize hey, there's some truth in the, all those things but uh but uh it is it, it, this goes for me I, I gotta get back in the studio i gotta make my me time and mm -hmm. practice 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 and it's true you know but um uh, and I mean, it's worked for you. The discipline, obviously, you know, has worked for you and paid off. Um, and I guess as far as social media, where can people find you? Um, do you do Facebook? Do you do Instagram? We do or... face. We do Facebook and Twitter, which is X, and we do Instagram. Everything's Gary Hobbs official. official. Uh, our website, for some reason, GaryHobbs.com. I, I we need to look into it. Something went down on it, but uh, but we also. Uh, we're we're looking at the possibility of going to that 
TikTok because I haven't TikToked or talk oh, yeah. and <laughs> I do take a TikTok. I do do TikTok, but I would follow you on TikTok for sure. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to look at TikTok just because it's yeah, something else so to do. <laughs> it's it's something to compound on our already heavy schedule between between mm -hmm. performing and trying to rehearse, which we haven't rehearsed. We mm -hmm. got to get into the studio recording. We do a podcast, an audio podcast. We do Hanging with Gary, Hanging oh. with Gary. It's on all all the platforms, digital platforms for for podcasts and uh, Hanging with Gary. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have our cruises that we put on, and you you can go to GaryHobbsCruise.com on that. Uh, so you you might join TikTok, and then um, that would be so cool. I would watch that. I think yeah, Laura, I. I uh, I, I love think, that you're thinking about it. <laughs> I didn't foresee myself doing TikTok, and and it's just something that, uh, again, with all those things that we're doing, the recordings, the cruises, the podcast, uh, it's just like you know. But uh, I think TikTok is next up in line as soon as they orientate me on it. So <laughs> great, that's awesome. And so, um, I just, I guess, if you wanted to say hi to the Hano Nation, you know, readers and viewers at thehanonation.net. Um, you can just say hi to them or whatever we, you want to say. No, but we want to thank Tejano Nation for all that they do for Tejano music and uh, and especially with Gary Hobbs. You know, we're we're grateful and uh, again, it, anybody that contributes to the industry uh, is always good for us. And mm -hmm. I think too many bands focus on what's in it for them and the, the I I I and me me me. Mm -hmm. But we're one of those artists that you know, we. Anything that's good for Tejano music is good for us too. So, but we got to continue to get out there and keep working. And so many people to thank, but this is a, an opportunity to tell those kind of people that that y'all reach out uh, to thank them. Uh, in forty years, I'm just not going to be able to say thank you to each person that has maybe gone to a, a performance or or bought a or, or bought an eight track <laughs> or a, or a cassette. a cassette or an LP. <laughs> I remember cassettes <laughs> and CDs. So, but but thank you so much for all all the support, and um, we hope to see you all soon somewhere. <laughs>